Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Virgos who are watching. So if you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Virgo, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get into your reading, Virgo, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Virgo, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Virgo, so let's go ahead and get into your reading first. I'm actually going to start with your channel messages, and then we'll also pull some situations oracle cards, but let's begin your energy with some specific messages. Can we please get a few messages from my Virgos when it comes to love and their connection? What energy is making its way towards my Virgos, please, when it comes to love? We have our first card that came out. Let's go ahead and get another card for Virgo. Alright, Virgo. So we'll take this card. Let's read this as an extra message. It says... All I have are your words, and I'm trusting that. How does this person truly feel when it comes to Virgo, please? Let's go ahead and just get one more card, please, for Virgo. Okay. So, Virgo, we have our first few messages here. Please keep in mind any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I'm describing from your person. That could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed. Just however this reading resonates for you. Not everything will or has to resonate for you, Virgo. But the first card that did come out is... I talked to everyone about you. I've worked hard on us, but I also know my worth. I wish I met you years ago. It would have been so much better. We have your source of healing for me. I can see myself loving you from miles away. And my love for you will never expire. So Virgo, I feel like this is someone you're dealing with currently. And despite the ups and downs or the bumps in the road that come between you and this person, you have remained loyal and faithful and optimistic towards this person and this connection. But I do feel like there are maybe some trauma or traumatic moments or just things that affect this connection. And those things might be things that this person is holding on to that has affected them individually. So it's it's like they bring their their past experiences into this connection and it it throws weight onto you virgo i just did a reading for scorpio they had a similar energy but i i feel like with i wish i had met you years ago it would have been so much better if you if you and this person did not go through what you've been through in the past which is rough relationships then you two could have really start started fresh and your experience when it comes to love wouldn't have been tainted or damaged so it's like someone is carrying dead weight into this connection things that they're still healing from and if they do have trust issues it's like they they might add it into this connection when there's no need need for that to happen but i feel like for you virgo you have true love for this person and it might be weird imagining things without them and i'm not saying virgo that you feel like this needs to end maybe you do feel that way but if anything there might be some tension or 
ups and downs that you experience and y you wish that it did not exist at all. So we have that first card. We also have your source of healing for me. You might bring, or not bring, you might feel this energy from this person, but I feel like this is how this person feels about you. Virgo could be dealing with the Leo, that sign just came to mind, but it does not have to be the case. But I feel like this is how this person feels when they're with you. You've, you've helped them a lot more than you might even think of, Virgo, and that's just because you are you. But also with this sort of energy, you may feel like this person does rely on you so much or their issues are automatically your issues. And you might be okay with going through things with this person to, to help them and just be there by their side. But it's also a different thing when this person is pouring their hurt onto you or it's like when they're upset, when they're disappointed, they they take it they might take it out on you we have i talked to everyone about you i feel like this is your energy virgo as far as you expressing how you feel about this connection to other people venting confiding in people maybe taking advice from other people i've worked hard on us but i also know my worth i feel like you virgo despite the love that you do have for this person you know when to give yourself time, give yourself space, or maybe even break away altogether when things really get bad, if they ever do. But the love that you have for them and the love that this person has for you, it's like it keeps you two together. My love for you will never expire. Scorpio also have this card in their reading. But just the bond that you two created for one another. And like I said, it might be weird imagining things without this person because for some time now, it has been you and this person side by side. Or even on a deeper level, like this might be the person that you've only connected with on this depth with, if I, if I said that correctly. Like you haven't had a mind body soul connection like you have with this person before and i can see myself loving you from miles away so for example if you do think about things ending between you and this person it's like you'll still have that love for them so it's like where does that love go i'll still have love for you and that might make it harder to break away if that's what you're trying to do virgo this could also signal or mean long distance, so maybe that's where the ups and downs come through or come in. Let's just get the last few specific messages for you, Virgo. What else do we need to know here about this energy? Let's just get one more specific message, please, for my Virgos just get one more we'll get an extra please for virgo all right so we have our last few cards and we'll pull some situations oracle cards you're the one i want to spoil scorpio once again have this card i need reassurance so i know this is worth my time i've never seen someone put together so perfectly and i want to build a love of our own together so with this card, it's kind of like that energy I was referring to. Someone is holding, holding on to things from the past that don't necessarily stem from you. It's like, let's put all that behind us and let's build a love of our own together. Like this card says, but you know who I really am. I am not the people from the past that have hurt you, that have done you wrong. So don't hold that against me. So let's start fresh together. You're the one I want to spoil. I feel like really this person wants to be with you and how far they've gotten with you, Virgo, as far as connecting with someone, I feel like that's the realest they've ever got to be with someone. So all this love that they do have for you, it, it really stems deep down. I, I feel like even if they do have their, their own trust issues, that, that needs to be addressed, but it, it would be very beneficial for them to just lead with love and 
if they really want to be with you and have this love for you, then they can't hold things against you, Virgo. Because that's when the energy start to conflict. Like a person is holding grudges that may or may not have to deal with you, but then again, they're vowing to love you. So it's like, choose, choose which way you want to be here. I've never seen someone put together so perfectly. I feel like this is how this person feels about you, Virgo. Just the quality of the person you are, your character. You have things for your for yourself. You're independent here. I feel like they feel like you make them look a lot better and need better them. I need reassurance so I know this is worth my time. This energy is reminding me of the Moonology Oracle card, a time to give rather than take. It might be the time for this person to give back to you and reassure you, Virgo, especially if you've been the one to repair things, to keep things afloat between you two and, and not let it affect you and not take it out on this person. So I feel like this person needs to reassure you of how they truly feel. Even if you know Virgo, like, it, it doesn't hurt to hear it or for little reminders to be shown. Let's just get a few situations, oracle cards, please, for my Virgos. What energy? Okay, let's see what we have. We have interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. So, bringing it in with this person and having that check-in, because maybe... Things have been, like, you two are close but distant at the same time. And that's where this energy also comes in. I need reassurance so I know this is worth my time. So, just sitting down or having a discussion with one, with one another and reminding each other of how you two feel about each other and also what we're doing here. Because it... This energy, it's kind of also like you two are moving in silence. Maybe, excuse me, maybe holding like tension within this connection. So let's see what else we have going on. We have magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. You might feel like you two are meant to be together. And that's why you put in so much for this connection because you, you know that you two are together for a reason. Let's just get one more card, please, for my Virgos. And we have threatened, embarrassed appearances. So I do feel like, if anything, this is this person's energy. How I said, they're maybe holding on to things from the past that may or may not have to do with you, Virgo. That mask can come off. You could be vulnerable with me. Express to me how you really feel instead of being, like, overly, like, maybe aggressive or passive aggressive about things but let's see what sign you might be dealing with virgo aries libra let's get one more sign for virgo please and aquarius all right virgo i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always i appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you next time bye